We're going home. Uh, anyway, me. that's an interesting story. Yeah. I, uh, I haven't seen anything on it myself. Yeah. Uh, but it is kind of a, I guess, a local story. But, yeah. you know, after April 15th and the marathon, yeah. uh, <coughs> there's going to be more than... Uh, more than uh, casual interest in that. Just a, hey, hey, hey. Good boy, look. I mean, I could imagine another scenario. They're there with a, a water quality processing plant uh, uh, specialist, uh, and they're, yeah. they're interested in uh, d doing water treatment in their own countries, but... It's fine. It's hard to they, find. They got to have that person with them. It's hard to find a uh, <laughs> legitimate excuse for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, they could go there. It would be a little make sense if they went in the day, like midnight. And the only reason they saw them because they had, they saw two cars. It's, you can't like. But if they if they were really clever, if they're up to no good, they would have had. They would have dropped someone off or a couple of people off to walk through the woods. So like you know you yeah. can't part you. That's why that's why the cops caught them. They saw two cars out there. There's nowhere to park. Well, know. fervor isn't always accompanied by great intelligence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Fortunately, in many cases. Yeah. <coughs> right. The only really superior case where there was great intelligence and planning, of course, is 9-11. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. Right, right. Yeah, these last two idiots weren't too bright. Yeah. Okay, I've got to get to the store. Hopefully I can get there be here on market before all this traffic. See you in a bit. Yep. Bye-bye.